what is an association yeah so let's read about it an association is an organization which main object does not include making a profit so the main object of the association is not making a profit yeah keep in mind they are saying the main object that doesn't mean it cannot make profit it can make profit but the main object is not making profit most association focus on um, organizing social activities so when you create an um, association most of the time it's for social activity or for your neighborhood and other stuff some people use it in the business structure in order to create um, profit or in order to get certain business goals if an association make profit it must be reinvested into the association so you see here they're not saying you're not allowed to make profit your main goal is not making profit but you're allowed to make profit but when you make profit you need to reinvest it into us into the association so you are not allowed to divide the profit among members so when you have association you have members you're not allowed to divide the profit among members the association has at least two members. The meeting of the members later gathering has full power and authority. Each member is entitled to a vote. The later gathering appoints the committee, which consists at least a chair, a secretary and a treasurer. An association has no shareholder. Our money is collected through contribution by members such as donation and fundraising. There are essentially two types of association in the Netherlands. Association with full legal capacity and association with limited legal capacity. So, verlede rechtsbevoegheid, beperkte rechtsbevoegheid. Yeah. Both has the advantage and disadvantage. For example, has the same rights and duty as the member of the public. For example, they can make a, they can take out loans and own inherit registered property. Only association with full capacity are eligible for subsidies. Association with labor cam, cam capacity, both associations as the member are private liable. You do not need a civil notary to set up an association with limited. Okay, technically this is a lot of information, but let's break it down. Yeah. So what you need to my, keep in mind is you have two time, you have limits, and you have a four. Yeah association you need at least two person or two legal forms so two person they create an association yeah the thing is when you create a full association you need a notary yeah when you have limits you do not need a notary so no notary notary no you do not need it you can just create it we'll talk about it soon but keep in mind those two person when something goes wrong with association so let's say this is the association those two person when something goes wrong they are liable so for example you buy something and the association cannot pay it you have to pay it with your private asset keep that in mind when you have a full that's another story so when you have a full legal association that's another story that means when you buy something and the association cannot pay it they cannot come after you as a member because this is a full legal association that's a different keep that in mind and then we have let's see what was another thing that we needed to discuss um yeah you need to keep in mind let's say this is the full association normal when you have a company so Give me a second. Yeah. Let's say this is the full association. They don't have a shareholder. That means they don't have people that earn from the association. Keep in mind when you have an association, it has a goal. The main goal. That can be anything. But the main goal is not allowed to be making profit. And here in this case, when you make profit, the profit needs to go into the association. You are not allowed to divide the profit among members. You are not allowed to do that. There's something you're not allowed to do that. Keep that in mind. So this is an uh, association with full legal capacity and the other one is limited. That means when something goes wrong, you are liable for this. 
and this you can just go to the chamber of comments and you can create it but here you need a notary, a notary for that so that's the basic about um association what it is and keep in mind if you want to create something like an association keep in mind you need to have a main goal and try to describe your goal as uh, broad as possible and if you have a question about it what you can do is just go on the law center join the discord and uh, in law center i will see what i can do for you in order to help you out i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie scene will be